Okay, well, hello everybody. Today uh, we'll be talking again about something we've talked about a lot in the past, which is articles. Articles are words like a uh, and an and the that we use in English uh, for making sentences. They're uh, one of our pieces of a sentence that we use, right? And at the school, we've learned this in class before. We've also learned it, we've learned about articles in a past video. When Matt was here, he also covered articles in a video. And if you follow us on Instagram, on Instagram, we also have a post about articles, which I'll actually show you right now. We did this post about, uh, what was our note? It was our, in March. So a couple months ago, uh, we posted about this previously, the basic differences between a uh, and the, or at, there are times when we don't use an article, when there's no article in front of different words. All right. So for this, just the very basic overview that we see from our Instagram post, right? We have a or an. We use it if there's one of many things, right? A dog, right? Maybe you're at a place where there's many, many dogs. There, I saw a dog, right? It's just one of a group, a pen. You have five pens. I want a pen. Just one pen of many pens or a student. You are a student, right? You come to class, you have seven or eight students in class, right? You are a student, one of the group. We also use a with jobs, right? I'm an engineer. No, I'm not an engineer. I'm a teacher. But for most jobs, we will use the a or an, right? And last, if it's the first thing we mention, first time we mention something, we will use a, right? I ate a sandwich for lunch. I ate a sandwich. So the first time we say sandwich, we say I ate a sandwich. And in this case, it is singular, right? Um, because it's singular, we use the a, uh, right? I ate a sandwich, the one sandwich. Okay. For the, it's anytime we mention something more than once. So the second time, third time, fourth time, right? I ate a sandwich. The sandwich was delicious. The sandwich had tomato and cheese and salami. The sandwich was made by my brother, All right? So the th second, third, fourth, we're going to use the, okay? The other time we use the is if it's the only one, right? The sun, the moon, the star, or the, the, the earth, right? There's only one. Or if it's very specific, like the boy in my class who wears glasses and uh, has a yellow shirt. There's only one boy in my class who's wearing glasses and has a yellow shirt. So we use the, right? Countries as well, things like the United States, we use it. Superlatives, words like, well, phrases like the strongest boy in class, the tallest boy. Those are superlatives. We use it there as well. And um, at, at times we also don't use any articles at all, like countries, um, like any general things that we love, like I love muffins, right? That's what uh, this teacher wrote, right? I love muffins. Not any, no, no specific muffin, just the idea of muffins or muffins as a food, we love them. Or if you say, I love cats, right? It's not about any specific cat, no specific cat. It's the idea of cats or cats as, as an animal, right? You love cats, okay? So that's the basic idea there. I've also put together uh, a document, which we'll go through now, to go through some of the even smaller differences between these articles, okay? So if you look at this, I have an English challenge. I'll actually, I'll make a, I'll copy this, uh, this document so you can use it at home if you'd like. Um, for our English challenge. And uh, let's see, just making sure everything's okay. Oh, maybe not. Is it still broadcasting? Maybe not. I don't see. Just did a quick check. 
So this might have not worked. On my screen, I'm getting black. So let me see. That we see from our Instagram oh, okay. Post. Good. Yeah. It looks like it's yeah. looks like it's working on my phone. So I'm assuming it's still working. Yeah, because I was I was looking at the on my on my on my live preview, it's black, mm -hmm. but on my phone, I'm. On my phone, I'm still. I think I'm still going strong. So See? Who are you talking so this to? Might have not worked. I'm talking to these people. On so, my screen, I'm getting or, I, or right now I'm talking to myself because there's no one watching. On my, on my, <laughs> but on my I got confused because it's my weird, phone, right? Using OBS? Yeah, I'm using OBS. On my phone, so, I'm still, so if I close this out, I can leave this. So I'm using OBS so this like this. You see, this I'm is what they should to see. These people. Hi, Facebook. Yeah. So, We're seeing the delay. I'm talking to myself got it. No got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> we'll keep going. Yeah, I think, I, but luckily, I think it's working. I'm just doing a articles overview a little bit again. Cool. And sorry, guys, for the delay. Um, I just wanted to make sure the technology was working. Looks like it is. You can, yeah. Maybe I'll link just to this part if you want to watch from here. But uh, here's the document I've made for us to focus on articles. Um, and I have four examples of using different articles to change the meaning of a sentence. So here's our four. We have he admires the woman. He admires the women. He admires a man. Or sorry, he admires a woman. And he admires women. Right? So all of these, we've changed it. We've made each one a little bit different. So what, what's different? What's different about these four different ways to express um, this man's admiration of a woman or the woman, right? Well, if we look at the examples that I have here, first I have he admires the woman. Here we're talking about a specific woman that he admires, the woman. Maybe it's the woman who won the award at the event, right? Or won the race, right? If it's in a race, there's a one woman who was the fastest runner, right? He admires the woman who won the race. Or if it's in, a, in your class, maybe you admire the woman in your class who speaks English well, right? The other, that means the other students don't speak English as well. There's one woman who speaks English very well compared to the group, right? The one woman, the specific woman who speaks English well. Or if you say you admire the woman who got a promotion at your job, at work, right? So the other promote, we're not talking about the other employees. Um, I can assume that they were not the ones promoted, but there's the woman who got the promotion. There's the one specific person in the group who I'm singling out, the woman. Versus if I have something like the women, right? The women, again, we're talking about this specific group, but not only one, not the woman, the women, the specific group of women. Like he admires the women who planned the party, right? There's maybe two or three women, five women. They planned the party for our group, and we admire the work they put into planning the party. Or he admires the women that he met at the fundraiser, right? He met, maybe he met many women at the fundraiser, but he admires the, a specific group of women, two or three or four or ten. Right? Those women are the ones he admires. Right? So that's the idea of he admires the women. My final example, he admires the women that founded the company. Maybe there's a group of women that started a company and he admires, admires them. Right? Then if we go back to he admires a woman. Right? A woman is just one of many women. Right? He admires a woman who can speak English. Right? She's one of many, many women who can speak English, but he admires a woman who can speak English, right? Something like that. Or he admires a woman he met at work, right? He met many, many different women at work, but he admires one of those women that he met at work. He admires a woman he met at work. Or last, he admires a woman who raised money for charity. Maybe he saw an article about a woman who was raising money for charity. She's not the only woman raising money for charity, but he admires this one woman out of many women who raise money for charity. 
Okay, and then for number four, right? This is women in general. If I say women, he admires women. And for my examples, he admires women who are successful. So that's all women, the whole group, all women. He admires all women who have done well at their work, who have been successful. Or if I say he admires women who are well-read. Well-read means someone who is very well-educated and can talk about a variety of subjects. So if I say he admires women who are well-read, we are saying that right, all women who have that level of education are women that he admires. And last, he admires women who have good fashion sense, right? So again, it's all women. If you're a woman and you have good fashion sense, he admires you, right? So those are my general examples. On this document, I also have more examples that you can uh, look into later. I'll briefly put them up so you can see, but this is just in the document that I will attach to the bottom of this video. So that's most of what I'd like to talk about today. I, um, I think that's it. If you have any questions, now's the time. Again, just a shorter video today uh, that is about this very specific topic. As always, if you have any questions about what you saw here, or if you have any questions about what you're learning in class, you can comment below and uh, my and I or one of one of the teachers uh, at the school will try to help you by making a video or giving you some more content relevant to what your questions are. Okay. But again, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I will see you all in class again soon. So until then, bye bye.